I'm Kevin Brinegar. There are many questions that can be asked following the crisis Indiana experienced as a result of passing the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. We'll leave that Monday morning quarterbacking regarding the, why this took place to others while focusing on how we can accelerate the recovery process. The amendment to the new law was critical to make it clear that RIFRA cannot be used to discriminate and to stop the bleeding. It did not, however, cure the damage inflicted by a full week of national and international attacks on our state's good name. If no action had occurred, decades of work building our economy and our business climate would have been wiped out. But even with the much needed legislative tourniquet, all Hoosiers have a role to play in minimizing the damage. The Indiana Chamber received more than 600 communications, many from outraged people vowing not to do business in our state again. Thousands more reached out to others with similar sentiments. Despite kind words about past experiences in Indiana, all of them will not suddenly reverse course and embrace our state once again. What can we do? Part one is easy. Showcase the Hoosier hospitality that defined our previous image. Whether an Indiana neighbor, a visitor from another state, or an international traveler, make sure that person or group walks away with a clear realization that Indiana is welcoming to all. For customers, investors, and other stakeholders hesitant about Indiana from afar, remind them that years of strong working relationships should not dis be destroyed by something businesses did not seek or support. Indiana's rebound started immediately in welcoming the nation for the NCA Men's Final Four. Let's continue that bounce back statewide as the attributes that help define our past can once again help shape our future.